everyone, this is Rachel and I am Ollie Quig. That's O L I Q U I G on Instagram. I'm here with another process video. Thank you so much for watching me create. Right now, I'm just going through some things I'm considering using. I actually don't end up using a lot of it, but I wanted to give myself a lot of choices so I didn't, you know, have to get up in the middle of the video a lot to go look for other stuff I might want to use. In a little bit, this video is going to switch to being upside down because I forgot to turn it around, so I apologize for that. I also ended up cutting a section out because I was doing something else on the camera, forgetting that I had the camera on, and so what ended up being about 20 minutes long was 3 minutes of scrapbooking and 15 minutes of me fixing my remote control for my television. So now I'm just going through some things still. I really wanted to use these acrylic bits from We Are Memory Keepers because I just got them, but I ended up not using it. I do end up using this line of paper, which is the Jubilee line from My Mind's Eye. I'm going through all of it. I love this paper so much, but I don't have any teal really in the photo, and I really want to use it as a background. It's very cool, cool watercolor, and it says all you need is love. In the bottom, I'm also pulling out the Bella Boulevard Alphas again. I don't end up using them once again. And here we go, upside down. I'm using these two photos. I, these are basically around a 4x4, four four, maybe a little bit smaller. I actually printed these off on my Canon selfie. These were actually taken last Saturday. My best friend, her daughter, whom I refer to as my niece, and I all went in and I went into New York City to go see the show at the uh, Radio City Music Hall, the Rockettes Christmas Spectacular. So we took some selfies while waiting in line to get into the show, and then also we were watching the ice skaters on uh, in Rockefeller Center. They are not very good photos, but we were having a lot of fun. We don't actually usually take a lot of selfies, so this was uh, fun for us. I decided I wanted to have it on cardstock. I'm using a lot of cardstock lately. I don't usually, in the past, I've been a pattern paper backing kind of girl, but lately I've been using the cardstock. So I'm going to back these paper, these photos on this paper. I'm using three different papers from the Jubilee line. I'm using the Sherbert Enjoy, the Happy Lovely, and the Happy Pretty Quotes. They're all from the Jubilee. Oh, sugar. I don't remember. I think it's called Sherbert line. So, or Sherbet, whichever is proper. So I'm going to put that in my upper left-hand corner. And I have this Doodlebug Designs vellum sprinkles dots paper. Well, vellum paper, I guess. And uh, I actually had it out for something else and I grabbed it. The only problem I have with this paper is that when you cut across the dots, it really... Uh, the dots are painted, so the dot paint gets everywhere. I want to use a doily. I have those purple doilies, but I felt the purple was too strong, so I take a white one, and I'm going to end up spritzing it with the Prima Color Bloom in, I think it's lilac. And I'm going to use a couple of quote blocks. This big green one, which says the best thing to hold on to in life is each other and then a medium-sized purple one that says you make me happy and then a smaller green one that says believe now I'm just trimming these up because when I use my trimmer I just went a little over and unfortunately I'm not very good with the scissors I will always use a trimmer if I can possibly get away with it so I'm fixing uh, I decided to use that Believe. I hadn't cut that out at first. And now I've got this paper, and I think this is the lovely one. And I decide I'm going to use that as a vertical element. And now I'm writing down all the papers because I knew I wasn't going to remember which ones I'd used. And I wanted to make sure I could tell you which ones they were. So what I do in the part that breaks away, you're going to see me finish and then come back. And I just basically take out my die cuts from the Jubilee line and the chipboard stickers from the Jubilee line. And oh yeah, now we're back to being right side up. Thank goodness. So I have those out and basically I just go through and choose whatever I think is going to work. And I end up picking from the chipboard some purple flowers, a purplish red label that says love it, 
and three silver feathers and a green flower and then from the die cut pack I pick a little green tag and actually I'm pretty sure that's all I take from the die cut tag die cut pack so now I'm trying to get this vellum paper to go on correctly because I want it to look like it's one big piece I'm having trouble and this is where a lot of those dots come off and now I'm laying it over that and I decided to take the other side of the lovely paper and flip it over and use that on top of, oh no, I guess it's not the other side of the lovely paper, it's the other side of the enjoy paper. And then I ink everything up, all the papers, I ink it up with Hero Arts Wet Cement, so I stay in the Gray family. And of course I should have done this before I added the vellum. I managed to get through almost all of it without getting any ink on the vellum, and the part I do get on, I had actually already planned to cover up, so I was okay with it. Yeah, I'm just wiping it away. It's actually not very noticeable. So originally, I am going to just have the purple paper and then I add the flowered paper on top and I've already used this paper to make a layout so I didn't feel the need to gut it and save the paper. I've got plenty of this paper left so I just went ahead and did the whole thing like that and I've decided not to use those. They're just not the right colors. The Oh, I apologize. I have allergies going on right now. Um, those colors from the Bella Boulevard are just not the right type. I have a whole bunch of frames from Create Paper, but same thing, just not the right colors, not what I'm looking for. So I originally have the, the quotes in this grouping, but then I decide that there isn't enough room for that big quote over on the right hand side so I end up switching it over to the left hand side so right now I've decided to add that striped paper that I back my photos on basically bringing the photo uh, the purple stripes in a diagonal across the way and I like how this is looking so I'm gonna go ahead and get it down this is how I normally work I get my photos and my papers where I want it before I add any embellishments I just find it's the easiest way for me to work I go ahead and add that to the upper corner and I've decided to do it at an angle but I'm going to have my photos be straight on. I just add a little bit more movement to the paper. And now I'm going to add that to the green and I still have it over here but this is where I'm having a problem with the shape of it. So at some point I'm going to switch it over to the other side. And here it is and I've also brought out all the stuff that I cut out so you see the silver feathers the purple flower I also brought out the jubilee line of white rub-ons that I have and those white splotches in the upper right hand corner are a rub-on there's also some rub-ons I added to the believe and to the you make me happy quote blocks but you really can't see them very well uh, on the video so now I'm adding the doily as you can see it's a much more delicate purple color than the purple doily. I'm adding thickers in the hardcover font in black and my title is going to be NYC selfies. Very self-explanatory. I'm having trouble trying to get these uh, I keep putting them too close to each other and then the it starts looking like an A, the FI. And now I'm taking out doll font in silver for the NYC. I'm having a bit of trouble trying to get these back in the bag. I actually have 6x12 Ziploc style bags for them, but they're not here, so I, they're in my dining room. I apologize, that's my dog. Uh, so I just shove them back in there for now, and I'll, I'm going to put them in another bag. Those are falling off far too much. I'm going to actually end up, after I take turn the city off, I'm going to go back and I'm going to glue those down because I'm very afraid they're going to fall off because the hardcover ones are... Uh, the chipboard, not the foam that the NYC ones are. I decided to do the NYC ones off to the left as opposed to putting it on top. I just thought it looked better. As you can see, I glued down those, well, they are self-adhesive, but I put down those silver feathers. Those are pretty much going to stay where they are. And then the Love It is right under the first photo. That green flower doesn't end up there. I actually put it down 
a little bit more to the left and I actually don't, I like it much better where it was in the first place. And I try to slide it over in a little bit. I'm adding these silver stars from a Heidi Swap uh, glitter puffy sticker set I got at Michael's. And then I'm going to put the purple flowers down permanently. Oh, I also added a little label sticker right above the word believe. That is also from the Jubilee line, uh, just the label stickers. So I had a little trouble with that purple flower. It came apart a little, so I just added a little scrap looking glue it, to it to keep it flat. And now's when I'm, I'm not actually sure what I'm doing here. Oh, I went and got photo corners. Uh, those are just, I think they're, is it Pioneer Valley? Uh, they're just from Michael's or Joann's, I don't remember which. And I add one to the bottom corner, and then I add one to the top corner of the Believe, because I bas basically wanted to pull some black away from just being in the word selfies. And here's where I put the flower too far out. And I am going to start gluing down a couple little corners that for some reason didn't stay down from before. So I do it there, and then I'm going to glue down at the bottom of the purple one. And then I realize that's not where I want the green flower to go, but it's too stuck down. So I'm going to end up sliding it over so it's in more of a place I like but it's not perfect. Oh, I'm looking to see if I have any flat flare I want to use, but I don't. And I went and I glued down that green and then I tried to add something underneath it and I was not happy with myself that I glued that down. I end up putting uh, what it is, a little piece of vellum and I end up adding it under that little piece of doily down at the bottom. And now I'm going off and I'm getting some journaling cards from Becky Higgins journal line, uh, a little mini line of the cards. And I'm just going to cut it out. You won't be able to see any of the color uh, just to write a little bit of journaling. There really isn't a lot of journaling on this because honestly, all we're doing is taking selfies of each other while waiting in line. So basically that's the entire journaling. And I'm pretty sure all I do after this is I go and add some mist after I add that dotted vellum over to the left and I use Dilusions White, and then I use Heidi Swap Black, and then I'm going to come back and show you some close-ups. Oh yes, I also use a label uh, die cut, and that's going to have the date on it. I just forgot to fill it in. So here I'm trying to add the vellum again, and I'm like, oh yeah, I just glued that down. So I add it to the side instead, and then I just cut off the overhang. And that's pretty much it. And here I went and got some mist. And now I'm going to show you some photos, close-ups of the different areas. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for watching this. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.